yes, but if you give your kids an inheritance before you file for bankruptcy, that will constitute a fraudulent transfer. So you're going to need to wait a rather long time before you uh, file that bankruptcy case. As I mentioned a little earlier, uh, there are statutes of limitations implicated here. And so if, for example, the trustee were to piggyback on the California Uniform Avoidable Transfer Act, which I still and to call it the Uniform Fraudulent Transfer Act, then the look-back period is four years with additional time if it couldn't have been readily discovered. And so you're going to need to wait years. Now, another thing that sometimes comes up, a um, person will say, well, how will they know? Uh, that, to me, of course, is a red flag because it tells me that this person is not interested in being honest. But here's what I will generally say. If there is even a hint that something is amiss, the trustee will hire a forensic accountant and subpoena your bank records, subpoena whatever additional records there are, and go over that stuff with a fine-tooth comb. So you're not going to be able to hide this stuff. It's really quite remarkable how resourceful uh, the trustees are, certainly in the Central District of California, uh, most particularly the Chapter 7 trustees. Chapter 13 trustees don't have quite the same set of incentives to go after uh, fraudulent transfers as Chapter 7 trustees do. But that does come up within the Chapter 7 liquidation requirement for Chapter 13. And um, so you don't want to do this sort of stuff because it will come back to bite you. Um, generally speaking, transferring stuff is a bad idea if your plan is to go into bankruptcy. So don't give your kids inheritance. Uh, to them when you're about ready to file for bankruptcy. As a matter of fact, this came up in a conversation I had with a gentleman just a couple of weeks ago. He called up. He said, well, he was thinking he it was time for him to file Chapter 7. He just sold his house and given the proceeds to his children. Uh, that told me we're not going to be doing a bankruptcy for that man. That's about the worst thing he could have done. Well, I suppose if he committed murder, that would have been worse. But for bankruptcy purposes, that was a truly dreadful move. And uh, so he's now going to have to face the debt music.